Happening today, there are two protests planned here locally. The first is going to be at KCK City Hall starting at 1130. At 3 o'clock, a social justice mark will take place beginning, or a march, excuse me, will take place at the beginning at the Oak Park Mall area. We'll bring you any updates on any developments from those events today. Nationwide, there have been calls to defund and dismantle police departments and local advocacy organizations are calling for city leaders to take a closer look at the KCPD budget. KCTV 5's Casey Jones is live from the plaza this morning. And Casey, are there any local calls to defund the department here? Well, not exactly calls for defunding, but there are several local organizations, NAACP, Moore Squared, Urban League of Kansas City, and others that are all asking city leaders to take a closer look at how much money they are giving to KCPD and how that money could potentially be moved somewhere else to other areas of need within the community. This, of course, comes after widespread nationwide protests after the death of George Floyd. Floyd's death is putting police brutality and racial equity at center stage in this nation. Advocates say taxpayers are footing the bulk of the bill for KCPD, but protect and serve does not have the same meaning for everyone in the community. I think what we've seen on the plaza the past, you know, especially Memorial Weekend when the police were openly engaged in escalating behaviors, that's what people of color have experienced in our city and been crying out for for many years, whether it's profiling and being suspicious. You cannot be suspicious of a person because they have melanin in their skin. <laughs> like that doesn't make any sense. Advocates would like to see a review board created that would uh, decide how to reallocate some of KCPD's funding and decide where um, they can redistribute that money to local organizations that are focusing on closing socioeconomic gaps within our community. So coming up, I'll tell you what the police had to say about calls to reallocate KCPD funding. Reporting live from Kansas City, Casey Jones, KCTV 5 News. It's just such a positive step forward that we're even having this conversation in the first place. Casey, thank you.